Hey, I'm Kara. I'm a mother baby nurse, and I'm going to teach you how to take care of your baby's weenie after it gets circumcised. This is in no way, shape, or form me telling you whether you should do it or not do it. That decision is up to you, and you have to do your own research. So there are three main types of circumcision methods that doctors in the United States will use. There's the Plastibel, the Gomco, and the Mogan clamp. If the doctor uses a Mogan clamp or the Gomco, then it leaves a little bit of um, skin exposed that's kind of like raw, we'll say. Um, so with that, with any diaper change, what you're gonna wanna do is take a big piece of gauze, put a big old dollop of Vaseline on it, about a quarter size, and then you're just gonna put it right on top and close the diaper. You'll do this every time you change their diaper. You, usually you need to do this for about three to five days just until it looks their skin is crusted over, not oozing anymore. This doesn't help with healing anything like that. It just simply keeps their diaper from sticking so that when you open their diaper, it doesn't like rip any more skin or hurt them. If you have a plastibel done, it's basically a method where there's a ring that's put over the, you know what, and then some string tied around it. The ring and all of the that will fall off on its own, usually about 14 days, sometimes a little sooner, sometimes a little bit later. Um, if you are unsure about anything, just make sure you ask the doctor. A little bleeding is normal for the first day, so if you see a little bit of blood, that's fine, but obviously if it looks like a large amount, it's in a lot in their diaper, just anything doesn't seem right to you, please say something, call your pediatrician. They will definitely be sad and a little grumpy. You may notice actually they don't eat very well afterwards for about 24 hours just because they don't feel good and they're just kind of tired from it. Um, anytime you change their, di their diaper, they're probably going to cry and be really fussy. Um, and also you may notice they might be sleeping and they'll pee and it kind of burns a little bit and you'll hear them like kind of squeak or scream for a minute. It's probably just because they peed and it burned. I feel like a lot of parents don't really know what to expect after one gets done to their child, so I hope this is helpful for you and share it with anyone who you think would get some use out of it.